I'm Jim Axelrod, 48 Hours. What you see here is our setup for a blood spatter demonstration. Blood spatter is at the heart of the case against Dr. Robert Newlander, a prominent doctor accused of murdering his wife. Dr. Newlander said he found his wife Leslie in the shower of their home near Syracuse, New York in 2012. She was bleeding. Dr. Newlander told police he moved his injured wife into the bedroom to perform CPR. Newlander's defense attorney said Leslie's massive head injury was accidental, that she hit her head on this marble bench in the shower. But the prosecution says the story doesn't add up, mainly because of the blood spatter found on items on her nightstand and on the wall and ceiling to the right of her bed. Karen Green, a forensic scientist for the prosecution, says these specks of blood were caused by blows. So I'm going to pour some of our artificial blood here into my hand and I'm gonna punch it. And she showed us how blood travels on impact. You can see where we set up our cameras to record this experiment. We have slowed down the footage so you can see the blood travel. The prosecution theory is Dr. Newlander beat his wife in the bedroom causing this blood spatter and then delivered the fatal blow in the shower to make it look like an accident. But the defense suggests there may be more innocent reasons for the blood spatter. Clearly, for both sides, the story of what happened to Leslie Newlander that terrible morning is written in blood.